Hello everybody, my name is Micronix, and I'm on the channel Micronix Reborn. So basically, I am going to bring you guys some gameplay from the game Long The Long Dark. This game is based in the harsh wilderness of Canada, which I actually live in, um, if you're coming from my old channel, which actually got terminated due to a couple of copyright strikes and some other wonderful things. So I decided to make a new channel called Micronix Reborn. With some a little bit better stuff I could bring to you guys. So, uh, this is my first time doing a gameplay thing on uh, this channel, so hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm just gonna quickly check the settings. This is my first time playing the game, so. I mean, everything looks alright, so I'm pretty cool with this. Uh, yeah. Um, other than that, hopefully everything is loud enough for you guys to hear as well. Uh, they do have a story mode, but that's not available in the alpha, and they're doing updates, uh, I think it's every month or two that they're doing updates, so... They're adding quite a bit to the game every time they update, so I, I think they're doing pretty good. Uh, anyway, so this is version 244, so we're gonna play Sandbox, um, I think we'll play either, I think we'll play Voyager? Maybe? <laughs> Who, uh, pensive explanation and harrowing survive. Alright, we're, we're gonna play this then. So, alright, so there's the guy and the chick. So, this is my first time playing. I've kind of opened the, up the game previously when I first purchased it just to kind of check all the settings uh, and check out the maps that they had at the time. But these are new down here, I think, or something like that. But, anyway, so let's do, let's do Mystery Lake. It looks like a nicer place. Mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Alright. So, this is my first time playing the game fully. It's hard to adapt to the chaos, but it can be done. I'm living proof of that. It can be done. Kurt Vonnegut. Breakfast of Champions. Alright. So the game runs nice and freaking beautifully. Uh... My computer specs are an Intel Core i7-4790K running at 4.7 GHz, uh, 12 gigs of RAM, 1600 MHz, um, MSI motherboard, 5 terabytes of hard drive space, and 2 GTX 760s in SLI. That's pretty much my thing. So, we are... <laughs> this game runs really well, oh my god. Alright, I've never actually... You know, I'm recording with DX Story. That's what I'm recording with right now. I'm using Lagerith, uh, which I personally like. It has the least performance hit uh, on my computer, although it doesn't really, isn't really that taxing. But anyway, so um, let's kind of go over here. Let's kind of venture. Um, so I don't know all the control. Okay, so inventory. So we got. We got antibiotics, antiseptic, we got accelerant, uh, bandage, basic boots, bedroll, cloth, cotton long, long underwear, long underwear, yeah, that's, that's great. Cotton socks, down vest, fleece sweater, jeans, orange soda, pork and beans, sewing kit, tinder plug, tote, <laughs> water purification tablets, and wood matches. All right. So that looks alright. Um, I'm not a whole. Oh, okay. You can start a fire. Uh, saying how cold I am, how much calories I have. Alrighty, I'm pretty cool with this. Alright. Um, let's let's go over here. Let's run over here real quick. So I'm not exactly sure how all of this works. Really, I'm not that much of. I've never actually watched any videos. Um, I watched the original trailer for it. Or you know, whatever you want to call it, actually, but never really paid attention to how it uh, how it goes. I mean, some birds up there. All right, kind of just enjoying the uh, scenery and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It's a nice. It's got that cartoonish look, but not too much of cartoon to make it feel very, very pleasant. Um. Right, so I don't know where I'm going, and <laughs> uh, maybe there's a map. M? Nope, that's a match. That okay, that makes sense. M for matches, but I mean M for map does make sense too. Uh, I guess we got a tor <laughs> a little light source. Bloop. 
Can I throw it? No? Okay. Thought I could throw it in like some of the other games I've played. Uh, obviously not though. So there's a rabbit. Oh. Damn, that scared the crap out of me there with the whole uh, match going away. Alright. So there's a rabbit. Ooh, I hear water. Uh, this looks like the place where they chop down a whole bunch of trees. So that may or may not mean that we have a shack or something nearby. Oh, a rabbit. That may or mean may or may not mean that we have a little cabin nearby, maybe. Oh, we're starting to get cold. That's great. Uh, hey, what was I saying? Alright. So I was just kind of going off of what they do in real life. I guess this is pretty close to what they do. Hey, I don't know. Deadfall area. Wow, that's horrifying. Alright. Let's see what we got. So, we got a little furnace. Uh... Some cedar wood burns with an aromatic glow, but doesn't burn for long. All right, so we got a wood stove. Oh, footprints. That's that's kind of cool. I like that. All right. So this isn't the best place in the world. <laughs> maybe I can come back here. Maybe get warmed up if I get too cold. Um, colder. Okay, that's not so good. So I don't think the trees look like this in Canada, unless it's trees up north <laughs> condition 100% freezing okay that's an issue I'm gonna run back to that thing and I'm gonna light up that fire Damn, you're freezing. whoa voice never had that before all right never expected that so we got voice uh, commentary whatever you want to call it alrighty wood stove um, let's toss in the, uh, uh, what? Accelerant, one of one, start fire. Alright. Ooh, now it's like, freaking skill increase to 51. Alrighty. I like, crouch beside this and like, warm up. Prepare food? Yeah, I guess we could prepare this. Smash can, yeah, that's... Oh, this is gonna end badly. I'm gonna lose like, 50% of it just dropping it on the floor. <laughs> Eight hours of daylight left. All right. Twenty-five percent did it say was lost? All right. Um. Let's melt two liters of water. Hopefully, it doesn't like boil water, purify water. Two liters purify. I don't know if this is gonna be good or oh, well, shit. <laughs> well, um, interesting. We have what is this? Unsafe water. Uh, can I use? Am am I doing stuff? Hey, righty. I am doing stuff. Good, but I mean, I would prefer to be warm, but I mean, all right. So we got two pot oh, potable. I thought that said potable. I'm like, what? All right, wood stove. We don't have any wood anymore, so we're kind of screwed on that. So let's just go this way. Colder. We're not freezing anymore, but we're colder. I take this mushroom, ricey mushroom. Harvest it. Let's harvest a mushroom. That's always safe. Some random mushroom on a tree. Let's, let's harvest it and walk away because that really makes sense. Uh, warmer. All right. So we got in the sun. We're a little oh, colder. <laughs> well, that didn't quite work. Um, my plan didn't quite go as expected there. So we... Uh, I don't know, this game's really about exploring from what I've seen so far. Nice little broken house up there, That that's great. Oh, let me just fix my mic here. I've actually, uh, I'm getting some money soon, so I'm gonna pre-order a whole bunch of games and probably record them for the channel and 